Well, hello everybody and welcome to another Redline First Look video from my office slash studio just outside the DC area. Now, ordinarily, I would be at the New York Auto Show, which was supposed to happen last month where Toyota would have taken the wraps off of two all new vehicles. So this video is going to be focusing primarily on the 2021 Toyota Sienna. Toyota also unveiled the 2021 Venza, I'll be doing a separate video on that. So after you watch this video, be sure to click on the link in the description below so you can watch the video on the Venza. But the Sienna is all new for 2021. It's been about almost a decade since a new Sienna came out. So we've been highly anticipating this all new minivan. So let's take a first look. So although minivans are no longer the most popular choice for families today, they are still without a doubt the more practical option, especially when you compare it to all of those crossover SUVs. As much as I like the way an SUV looks, a minivan is just more functional, especially when you have little kids or a lot of people or a lot of stuff or a combination of both that you constantly have to carry. Now the Sienna has a long history for Toyota. The current nameplate dates back to 1998. It replaced the Previa. If you guys remember that vehicle from the uh, early 1990s and now it's in its fourth generation and we've been waiting for an all new Sienna for a while now. The current third generation dates back to 2010. So it was long overdue for a replacement. As you can see, the look of the new van is definitely an evolutionary approach when you first look at it from the front end for me. Toyota says they combined a lot of the SUV-like styling with traditional minivan lines. They also offer it in several different trims. The Sporty XSE trim is the one that gets 20-inch wheels, which is a first for a Sienna. It's definitely a big wheel for a minivan, although the Pacifica also offers its own set of 20-inch wheels. And unlike the previous generation Sienna, which you couldn't even get with LED headlights, the new one now comes standard with full LED headlights and the taillights are also an LED combination. Most trims will also get an LED fog light, uh, LED daytime running lights. So it's now finally a much more modern look. You have the same basic front end uh, with different grill designs. The XSE has kind of a honeycomb design grill to give it a more sportier look. The grill is definitely a lot larger. It's very similar to the front fascia that you find on the Camry but with the same kind of shape to the headlights with a little bit more sharp angles and creases here to make this thing look a little bit more uh, aggressive. Toyota says they designed the new Sienna to be kind of inspired by the Japanese bullet train, which means it's supposed to appear sleek, steady, and confident, which it's a minivan, you're gonna be carrying people in it. Now, the one beauty about Toyota products is they are standard with a lot of safety tech and the Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 will be standard on all grades. You'll get features like automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, lane departure alert, blind spot monitoring with a cross traffic alert. That's standard on every trim level of the Sienna. Now the big news about the all new fourth generation Sienna is the fact that Toyota has dropped the V6 for this generation. That's right, the Sienna only comes as a hybrid now. The platform, as I said, is now the TNGA-K platform and they built this platform with electrification in mind. So basically you're gonna get the same powertrain that I sampled in the Highlander hybrid, the new version. So it marries a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder, four cylinder that runs on the Atkinson cycle. It has variable valve timing, all that good, that good stuff and it pairs it up with three up to three electric motors depending on if you guys go for the front drive model or the all-wheel drive model that's right the sienna will still continue to offer all-wheel drive it'll be the only minivan in the segment that offers all-wheel drive with a hybridized powertrain the pacifica offers all-wheel drive this year but it's limited to only the gas version the plug-in hybrid pacifica does not offer all-wheel drive Toyota says the combined output of the three electric motors and the gas engine is 243 horsepower. Now that matches that directly of the Highlander hybrid, which I had a chance to drive that. I was pretty impressed with the Highlander, although I, do, I did find that the engine, the powertrain, felt a little underpowered at times for me. So we'll have to wait and see uh, how this minivan drives. Toyota says that a lot of customers really love the hybridized powertrain because it offers a lot of low-end torque from a dead stop and that's what makes the vehicle feel a lot faster because as you know a minivan isn't really about drag racing or beating people at the light it's just all about the feel so you want that effortless feel now the powertrain is made it to a cvt it's toyota's ecvt it's your only transmission uh, option and toyota says that even though it's a hybrid all sienna vans will tow a maximum of 3500 pounds so you're not losing any of that practicality that you expect uh, from your minivan now the one thing that i'm curious about what about a plug-in hybrid version? Toyota said that the, the 
platform is capable uh, or had electrification in mind. So it's capable of running a plug-in hybrid version, but they did not confirm that. So my guess is Toyota is thinking about that depending on the demand. I'd love to see the RAV4 hybrid or the RAV4 Prime's powertrain under the hood of the uh, Sienna. The one thing that I'm curious about, will you guys miss the V6 though? Because the V6 offered like almost 300 horsepower. So the hybrid is going to be down on power, but with up to 33 MPG, that's right, 33 MPG, this is now the most fuel efficient minivan in the segment and it beats out the Pacifica hybrid uh, by about three MPG combined. So people don't necessarily buy minivans for their sleek styling or a lot of muscle under the hood. They buy minivans because these are supposed to be family vehicles. They have a direct purpose. So Toyota spent a lot of time on the interior of the all new fourth generation Sienna and it has been totally elevated versus the previous generation. Now previously, Siennas have never really had really nice materials. Now obviously I'm not sitting in the van so I have to go by the, fo the photos and the videos that Toyota has provided me with to talk about the interior. So we'll try our best here. But if you guys go for the top of the line platinum grade, you have a bunch of new luxury touches on this van, like 360 degree uh, camera, a heads up display that's about 10 inches in size. You can now get a built-in refrigerator and vacuum cleaner. That's right. The Odyssey and the Pacifica were one of the first to offer the vacuum cleaner. Toyota now offers it as standard on limited and the platinum grade. So that's a cool, little party trick. Uh, you can also get features like an 11.6 inch rear seat entertainment system, rain sensing windshield wipers, heated and ventilated front seats with heated second row seats, and a first for the segment, a power tilt and telescoping steering column. So it's all very Lexus-like in there. I think a lot of consumers are going to appreciate the nicer cabin finishes. Now the infotainment system, that's always a big important factor for a lot of modern buyers. Toyota says uh, their nine inch touchscreen infotainment system will come standard with features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa. It definitely looks good. It's got that new tablet style orientation, of course, with the physical volume and tuning knob, which I appreciate and a bunch of hard buttons that you'll find on the left and the right side of the screen. The one thing that I'm really perplexed about, why didn't Toyota offer their larger 12.3 inch touchscreen that you find on the Highlander? I just don't understand why they don't offer that screen. The Sienna is a minivan. It's got this big expansive dash and the nine inch screen is fine, but it looks a little small and people really appreciate the widescreen. So my, my guess is it's probably a cost cutting measure, but it would be nice to see if Toyota would offer that. So if you think they should, feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment section below and let me know what your thoughts are. Now, a couple of cool new features as well. The second row captain's chairs, if you guys go for a front wheel drive limited or platinum uh, grade, offer this new super long slide feature, which can slide all the way back by about 25 inches, the most in the segment. So basically, when you have the third row seat folded, you could slide the second row into the third row area. And it also has this expandable ottoman. So it basically turns the second row into like a first class jet. It's your own private uh, lounge chair which is a really cool feature. Great if you guys don't need to use the third row and you just wanna give the second row passengers as much space as they'd like. In typical minivan fashion, there's plenty of cargo space and storage cubbies in this thing. Uh, behind the third row, you'll get up to 33 and a half cubic feet of space, which is one of the reasons why you buy a minivan. You just can't get that kind of space in those three row crossovers, something like even like the Highlander only offers around 17 cubic feet space with the third row up. And because it's a minivan, you also get up to 16 cup holders and seven USB charging ports. So all you families out there with your kids that need to charge all of their crap, uh, nobody will be fighting for a USB charging port because the Sienna offers so many and with all those cup holders. Now, the top trims will also get a 12 speaker, 1200 watt JBL premium sound system, which is fantastic. Uh, I hope it sounds as good as the specs suggest. And the one thing that I did notice, however, the new Sienna is not available with a panoramic sunroof. All the press photos and B-roll uh, video only show just a standard size sunroof. I think that's a missed opportunity. I would have liked to see Toyota offer a panel roof, but overall I am looking forward to getting inside a new Sienna in person. Uh, hopefully that'll be at the next auto show whenever that'll be. So if you're looking to buy this all new 2021 Sienna, Toyota says it will be going on sale by the end of this year, probably around winter 2020. And obviously no pricing has yet been announced, but the current generation starts at around $32,000, just under $32,000, and it topped out around 50. I wouldn't be surprised to see this new van get more expensive. I mean, I would probably say maybe a, a grand or two more expensive. Minivans in general are just getting more expensive. So if you actually need a van because it really is the best way to carry all your people uh, and all of your stuff. 
the new Sienna should be a really uh, great new addition when it does go on sale by the end of this year. But with all that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Redline first look video on the 2021 Toyota Sienna. Keep in mind, I'm also doing a video on the 2021 Toyota Venza. So once you're done watching this video, click on the link in the description below so you can see my first look video on the Venza. But if you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, be sure to follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews, like us on Facebook. And as always guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.